The Lebanese capital Beirut was rocked on Tuesday evening local time by an explosion that killed at least 78 people and injured thousands more. It has been said that hundreds and thousands more are missing. The country's Prime Minister Hassan Daeb said the blast was caused by around 2700 tons of ammonium nitrate stored near the city's cargo port. Ammonium nitrate has the chemical formula NS4NO3 produced a small porous pellet or prills. It's one of the world's most widely used fertilizers. It is also the main component in many types of mining explosives, where it's mixed with fuel and oil and detonated by an explosive charge. For an industrial ammonium nitrate disaster to occur, a lot needs to go wrong. Tragically, this seems to have been the case in Beirut. What could have caused the explosion? Ammonium nitrate does not burn on its own. In it, it acts as a source of oxygen that can accelerate combustion of other materials. For combustion to occur, oxygen must be present. Ammonium nitrate fields provide a much more concentrated supply of oxygen than the air around us. This is why it is effective in mining explosives, where it is mixed with oil and other fuels. At high enough temperature, however, ammonium nitrate can violently decompose on its own. This process creates gases including nitrogen oxides and water vapor. It is this rapid release of gases that caused an explosion. Ammonium nitrate decomposition can be set off if an explosion occurs where it is stored. If there is an intense fire nearby, the latter is what happened in 215,000 explosion which kills at least 173 people after flammable chemicals and ammonium nitrate were stored together at a chemical factory in eastern China. While we don't know for sure what caused the explosion in Beirut, Footage of the incident indicates it may have been set up by a fire, visible in a section of city's port area before the explosion happened. It's relatively difficult for a fire to trigger an ammonium nitrate explosion. The fire would need to be sustained and confined within the same area as the ammonium nitrate prills. Also, the prill themselves are not fuel for the fire, so they would need to be contaminated with or packaged in some other combustible material. Residents Health at Risk In Beirut, it has been reported 2700 tons of ammonium nitrate were stored in a warehouse for 6 years without proper safety controls. This will almost certainly have contributed to the tragic circumstances that resulted in a commonplace industrial fire causing such a devastating explosion. An ammonium nitrate explosion produces massive amount of nitrogen oxides. Nitrogen dioxide, which is chemically denoted as NO2, is a red, bad-smelling gas. Images from Beirut reveal a distinct reddish color to the plum of gas from the blast. Nitrogen oxides are commonly present in urban air pollution and can irritate the respiratory system. Elevated levels of this pollutant are particularly concerning for people with respiratory conditions. The fumes in Beirut will present a health risk to residents only they naturally dissipate, which could take several days depending on the local weather. An important reminder, in Australia, they produce and import large amount of ammonium nitrate, mostly for use in mining. It is made by combining ammonia gas with liquid nitric acid which itself is made from ammonia. Ammonium nitrate is classified as dangerous goods and all aspects of its use are tightly regulated. For decades, Australia has produced, stored and used ammonium nitrate without a major incident. The explosion in Beirut shows us how important these regulations are. So, let's pray for the people of Beirut. That was one massive explosion. And what do you think about this video? Please write us in the comments below. And if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please don't forget to press the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you don't miss another update from us.